Okay, we want to look at the layers palette in this video for InDesign. If you are, of course, uh, familiar with any of the other Adobe programs, uh, this uh, layers palette works the same, uh, so it'll be very comfortable uh, for you, but we don't want to assume anything, so we're going to start from square one and uh, talk about the layers and how important they are, and I expect um, you to use them in your projects. The layers palette, uh, think of uh, the layers palette as um, similar to a, a deck of cards. A deck of cards, but they're um, acetate so that you can see through them. And you can uh, change the stacking order, just like shuffling cards, putting things in front of or on top of other things, and uh, moving them around. You can even move elements that are on one layer to a different layer. So it's a very important uh, part of uh, page layout programs, or really any of your programs, because we so often have uh, multiple elements and we don't want to move things around or have something become accessed that we don't um, intend to um, activate or move. When you have things on top of each other, it, uh, you want to just click on one thing and instead something else um, gets uh, uh, selected and possibly altered or moved and it's just, just kind of an annoying sort of thing. So um, working with layers takes care of that problem where you can isolate and lock things and even hide things. So the first thing we want to look at here is you always start out with one layer one layer um, as a default. Now, the layer itself, uh, the name, it says layer one, and by double-clicking on this icon, we get our layer options box, and we can change the name. And uh, as always, I would uh, su suggest to you that you do things in a logical manner. So, in this case, I'm going to put my text on this layer, and so I'm going to call it the text layer. Um, we're going to talk about the fact that all the layers as you create them are automatically color-coded, which is another way to just give you a visual clue to keep things organized um, easily um, in uh, what you're doing on the on the page. So I'll say OK here, all right? And now you see that it is now called the text layer. And um, at this time I have a block of text on this layer, as you can see right here. And uh, the first thing we want to look at is how we can access the Layers palette. Um, you can do that as with all of the windows um, and all of the palettes from under Window, and you see Layers right here. You can also go over here to the right and pull up the um, with the different tabs and um, InDesign by default has uh, most of those things available over here. But if it's not already in the tabs, you can simply go up under Window once again and you can pull it up that way, okay? All right, so I have one layer we're calling it the text layer, and um, we want to look at, we can hide uh, what's on that layer. Watch, um, I'll click on the little eyeball here, and the text uh, momentarily disappears and is not visible. Bring the eyeball back on, and there you can see how you can turn um, a layer on and off. All right, then we, um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And this one I'm going to put some, my graphics on. So how can we uh, create a new layer? We can, as again, all the Adobe programs at the bottom of this palette, we can click this little page icon, which will create a new layer. Okay, so I'll click that. And now you see I have layer two. I'm going to double click it. And also, you can um, uh, uh, make changes to the uh, layers. Uh, I just right-clicked. 
notice I just right clicked all right layer options and so I can go here I right click and that brought up my layer options box I told you just a minute ago that fast even easier ways to just double click on it and that brings it up we'll call this graphics okay then um, what I'm going to do here just so that I have something to play with I'm going to create a box and simply put some color in it keeping it very simple just so that I can show you um, a couple of different things and there you uh, here we go we'll fill it with yellow okay and once again I can uh, turn uh, that layer off or make it invisible by clicking on the eyeball and there you see the yellow box disappears another really useful thing as I indicated um, uh, a few minutes ago is you may uh, want to select one element but not everything that's on the page and if we do the uh, typical um, Adobe thing where I kind of click and drag here notice what happens my yellow box gets uh, activated but so did my text and so if I wanted to move one then they are both moving so this is um, a good example of how and why you want to put things on separate layers and I'm going to come over here right next to the eyeball and you'll be able to see I can lock the text layer lock the text layer by clicking it right here you see and now I can select the graphic and move the graphic but notice that the text does not become selected it can't be activated because it is locked so we have the locking of the layers as well as the eyeball that lets us turn them on and off okay and um, another thing that we might want to do we talked about is is duplicating an existing layer and everything that's on that layer so watch I'll take the graphics and I'll drag it down on top of the little page icon and it will create a new layer that's an exact duplicate of the graphics you see there and uh, now there are two of them and I know that because there you go you see I have two of them and um, so it gives you um, uh, plenty of flexibility um, another thing that we can do is move things from one layer to another and what I mean by that um, and before even before I go there I'm going to sh throw away this new layer that I just made the copy you can throw away any layer and everything that's on top or on that layer by simply dragging it down to the little trash can right here at the bottom of the layers palette and you'll see delete delete all that yes we'll say okay okay um, and um, before I go further another thing while we're here as with all of the palettes in the Adobe programs we have over in the right corner of every palette we have the um, options and um, we can often get the same things uh, by right clicking our mouse or if you're on a Mac and you don't have a right click mouse when you press the control not the command but the control key on a Mac and press your mouse you will often uh, get the equivalent of the right click that's the control and press your mouse if you're on a Mac or any computer that only has a single button mouse but you can either right click generally and you can also go up here in the corner of your palette and you have the options dialog box again com com completely uh, typical of all the Adobe programs and consistent with all the Adobe programs is go to this little options button and you'll get a pull down menu that will let you create new layers and 
uh, make changes and, and do different things like that, okay?